Aiden. Thank you for being the first guest on the Art of the Meeting show. This is going to be uh, super valuable. And I don't think people often talk about their meetings, but I think like, obviously, as you eloquently put it, running great meetings is an art. And, you know, if we don't talk about things that work well, then it's kind of hard for others to learn from those things. And I'm excited to chat with you about a weekly meeting that you run at Fellow. We call it the town hall meeting. And personally, I really enjoy this meeting. It's something I look forward to every week. And that's what meetings should be all about, right? Like we should be looking forward to that. So why don't you go ahead and tell me what a town hall meeting is? Town hall meeting to me is is a place where you get you know, a larger group of people, potentially the whole company together. And you talk about all the different things that people need to stay informed about. I think it's just a, a really great way to get people informed about topics that make sense and also create a lot of engagement and cross chatter, but most importantly, also get like the team pumped, right? So it should be, a, you know, like a high energy uh, sort of meeting that like people walk away from feeling informed, but also feeling very excited about, you know, the, the company, the mission, like what they're working on. It just, you know, it's the sort of thing that you want to be in the know about uh, for fun looked up at uh, town hall. Mm -hmm. And uh, th there's like a dictionary definition to this. It's an event which uh, a politician or public official answers questions uh, from members of the public. And I think like that, that's an mm -hmm. important point as well. I mean, if you're strictly being definitional, um, that is what it is. So it's an opportunity also for people to ask a bunch of questions. I think we just started to use the term town hall because we used to call it an all hands meeting. And uh, it was, what was interesting was I, I learned from uh, our friend Vlad at Webflow, uh, who is a guest on the Super Managers podcast, that it's a, uh, I guess like a, a term he used was an, an enableist term. And so we wanted to use a word that, uh, a different word. So for us, it's, it's just a, a, a place where the entire company gets together. And so, so that that's kind of how we think about it. I would love for you to walk us through the template and tell us why you've included every section in the template. Let me share my screen. Okay, awesome. So, uh, so this is for our upcoming meeting. As you can see, there's not a lot in here, although some people have started to enter in things. And, and there's a few different sections. You know, one of the things I, I mentioned to you was that w the energy level was, was really important. And so one of the things that we wanted to do in constructing this meeting is it'd be really, really cool if we could start with good news, right? So like people are coming in and, and there's, you know, there's this high energy level. And then we can go into some of the other functions. And then I also wanted to make sure that like we also end on a high energy note. So like if, if we didn't do that and say it was informational from the beginning, uh, it just like the energy wouldn't flow. So I wanted to figure out something so that like the energy would flow through the whole meeting. And so the first thing that we did was we came up with uh, celebrations and good news. So this can be a, as, as something as basic as you know, someone started on the team or we hit a milestone or we launched something and it could be, or a customer said something really nice or some great social media mentions. And the key here is that it's the sort of thing that everybody participates in. So I actually do very little for this meeting, even though I would call myself the host of the meeting, um, I do very little for it. And so all the different, you know, people on the team, the team leaders, like they know that this is an important part. And so they come in and, and put a bunch of the celebrations and good news here. The next thing is things that are, uh, announcements and FYIs, right? So uh, these are things like, hey, we changed, um, you know, for example, uh, this feature in, in the product or, hey, just so you know, uh, we're going to be launching, like we did our state of the meetings report, right? So you announced that, hey, on Wednesday, this is happening. Uh, but it's also FYIs, right? So anything that you feel would be useful for other people in the company to know about. And sometimes one of the things that, that we put here are also insights, right? Right? So if you've been noticing a trend 
or you've been at, you know, you've been talking to a bunch of customers and, and you've noticed a pattern, but it, it's a way for us to encourage, uh, you know, people to, to bring their insights, to bring information and to allow for everybody uh, to, to kind of hear that. So one of the things that I think is, is really important is like, can we make, no matter how big we get, can we try and operate as like a single human being? And like a single human being would do all of the things and so would know all of the insights from all the different corners of the company. Uh, but, you know, since we can't do that, the next be best thing is to try and like create a system where that kind of information dissemination uh, starts to happen. And so this is uh, the idea there. And then the next section is the presentations. Inevitably, there are presentations that we want to talk about. So we started like a new development approach or, um, you know, there's a new feature that, that we're working on and we want to give uh, a preview of this to people in the company. Uh, this is a part that you have to be really skilled at because oftentimes there are things that are presentation worthy, but you actually have to go and find them in your company, right? So it, you know, for this one in particular, yes, there's always this presentation section. And yes, I always say, hey, if anyone has a presentation, like, you know, please let us know. But oftentimes this is the one that you almost have to do a little bit of digging and like mm -hmm. talk to the leaders in the company and say, is there something that's going on or something that you folks have been working on that we can surface everybody else? A, so that they're aware and educated, but also maybe we, we wanna shine a spotlight on that, right? And I think it's also a great opportunity for people in the company to showcase their work like you said like i know some companies do something called show and tell right this is like our version of that and if personally i feel really proud about something the marketing team did over the last couple of weeks i will pitch it to you like hey we want to present this in the town hall because we're proud about it and we want everyone in the company to know about it and support it right yeah yeah 100 percent yeah, and then the, the next section is, and we spent five minutes on that, is shout outs. So we do shout outs in, a, in an interesting way. Uh, so everybody who wants to do a shout out will put their name in, uh, will not put the content of the shout out because if they do, then people can read it. And we kind of want the magic, people hearing it for the first time. And this means a lot, like this is such a really nice thing for, for so many reasons. Uh, one is it's contagious, right? Uh, the mm -hmm. first time that you, you get a shout out from someone, like it really makes you feel appreciated and like that the, the work that you do is valued and seen. It allows other people to also hear about it, but also it just builds that like reinforced culture of, you know, we're a place where we do like you know, basically give shout outs. And so um, this is a really, really powerful part. And then talking about managing the energy of the meeting. Again, like we started with the good news and we're basically ending with the shout outs. So everyone's in, in really, really high spirits. And this is, a, this is one of those things that is, you also have to potentially work at. So the danger zone here is you might run into a situation where it's always the same people uh, giving shout outs and not enough other people are. So this is where you, the, as a host or, you know, other managers on your team have to get very diligent uh, on this to encourage people in their teams to participate. Uh, but this is, again, another really great way to surface things that are being worked on in the company at the same time, recognizing people uh, and all around it, you know, adds a, a lot of value. And then we just always end on a, uh, you know, Q&A portion. And so the thing is like the way that these, these kind of uh, changes, if there are no presentations, for example, there's a lot more focus on Q&A. If there are presentations, maybe there's a little bit less room for Q&A. Uh, but one of the things that is nice is as you're going through presentations or as people are saying things, like oftentimes the types of questions that, that are put in here are things that are relate or someone said something and that kind of uh, created an idea for you. And so you might have a question about that. What's really nice about having it in written format and, and of course, like using a collaborative place where everybody can kind of add something in is sometimes you'll have a question, but you'll forget where what, what your question is. So it, it's useful to jot it down. But sometimes people will not like don't want to speak up and say the question, but if they can write it down, then um, everybody else uh, can see it. So it just becomes a really good way to sort of end on a Q&A portion. And then of course, if we ever have action items, you know, as a result of any of the discussions, we we kind of record uh, those things as well. Yeah, I think having that Q&A is really nice because if I think about something throughout the week, I just go to the town hall and write it down. And like you said, for the quieter members of the team, you can just, uh, 
write it as an anonymous talking point and it will be there for for anyone in the company to answer. Yeah. So I think like, you know, the the other point is, uh, you know, just on timing, but I think it was really important for us. This is an 11 a.m. meeting. And the reason for it was we wanted it to be something that people took very seriously. It's the sort of thing that you show up on time for. It's, you know, dedicated like work hour. It's not over your lunch hour. And so I think like the timing was really important and we just got it wrong when, when we first tried it. And I think like the new time has has worked out really well. Uh, we do do it on Fridays. And so it does have a feel of a, a recap to it. And, you know, the other part of it is like, you know, I use this, I, as you know, I send, send out like a weekly email as well. And so a mm-hmm. lot of the information that gets talked about in the all hands uh, or in our town hall, I might reinforce some of that message in the email. So so it gives me another thing to inform that that email that I write uh, at the end of the week as well. Yeah, this is awesome. And I know you mentioned that your goal is that people leave energized and feeling excited, right, about everything going on in the company after this meeting. What would be a red flag for you or a way to tell, okay, this meeting didn't go as well as it could have gone? or this meeting isn't going as well at the moment? Yeah, so uh, if a meeting is, what what I have noticed is like, if if there isn't a lot of uh, interaction, then that does like, you know, that is something that, that I look out for. I do want to get a lot of people to participate. So for example, I mean, a very simple way that, you know, uh, obviously I look to see whose faces are in there. So if there's n- not a lot of diversity in terms of like, you know, a lot of different people involved, um, then that's a, a warning sign. So I, I do actually look out for that. And and if there isn't, I might like prod a few people to say, um, or, or a few basically like of the team leads to say, hey, is there, you know, w- th- this meeting agenda needs some love. Uh, like, please uh, contribute or, or please uh, do something there. So uh, I think like the diversity of people involved is big. Um, and the other part is that if it's too presentation heavy, like that's not good. If it's too, um, if one of these sections like hogs up most of the meeting, then I think like that also tends to have a, a poor result. Like people have a certain amount of attention span. So I think like it's it's the, it's important to be cognizant of that. And so, especially for the presentation part, really focus on if it's uh, one major thing at a time. And if it's really important uh, and it needs to happen that week, I would almost schedule another time slot versus try and make like the whole meeting about that. Because again, it's a lot more value than just a presentation. And like, Mm -hmm. frankly, if it's just about communicating information, you can kind of record it and then send it to people and then they can watch it at their own time. So the fact that we're getting together, even though we're across, I don't know, three or four time zones or whatever the number is right now, like we're getting everybody to synchronously be there at the same time. So if we're not capitalizing on the energy and kind of this cross-functional talk and communication that happens, then that's not an effective use uh, of people's time. That's a great point. And I think that's why the Q&A section is so important, right? Because people can actually ask questions about the presentations. That's why we're meeting in person and not just sending videos asynchronously, because we want people to ask questions, participate, collaborate in the meeting. So that's a really great point. It really is is like the history of the company in one place. So I think like people can come into this and really get a sense for what's going on in the company. And it's really encouraging. And I love it when people bring insight and 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 also people are uh, you know appreciating or, or giving shout outs to different people on the team it just shows like the type of culture that we have so I, I also think that you can come into this meeting and also get a sense for the type of company that we are and the type of culture that we have and I think like all those things are are embedded here but they're also self-reinforcing so as we hire new people mm-hmm. like this is this is a way in which a lot of our habits you know and the things that we care about right like bringing insights bringing problems, you know, like appreciating each other. Uh, These are all things that are just part of the culture. And it's also self-reinforcing for new people that join. Yeah, that's a great point. If you were going to give, you know, a a piece of advice or uh, your thoughts to a CEO or a team lead who wants to start running weekly town halls, uh, what would that advice be? Like where, where should they start? 
Yeah, what I would say is like make it at a time where uh, where people will uh, be able to attend. I wouldn't make it super early. I wouldn't make it super late. But you know, put it in prime. Like put make it have prime time because it's an important meeting. You're literally getting the whole company. So this is probably the most expensive. Actually, it is the most expensive meeting at your disposal, right?、Mm-hmm. So、uh, you have to take it very very seriously. And make sure that everybody is participating and adding to this agenda. Like the agenda is the entire companies, or at least the leaders of the team. Like make sure that this is something that is jointly owned by everybody. Don't make it something that is only one person's responsibility to just go make sure that there is stuff there. People will be a lot more engaged, and you'll just run a way better meeting. Again, like this is the most expensive meeting in your company, so it should be the best use of time. Uh, as well, so I, I would just say like take it seriously. Yeah, and if anyone has any questions about it, I'm just at Aiden on Twitter.、Uh, feel free to send me a note, and I'm happy to answer any questions.、Um, yeah, and I hope it works for you. Yeah, let us know if you watch this video and your thoughts and comments on social media. And thanks for watching our first video of the art of the meeting. <laughs>